Brick Addicts Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen and friends from all over the world, today we're going to take a look at the pre-stickered Home Depot. Instead of starting from the front doors, we're going to start from the garden center. So as we walk in, what we're anticipating is Maybe these will be like bags of mulch or something like that. So just stacks of stuff that people can grab. And uh, got a couple wheelbarrows there stacked on top of each other. Got a, uh, a dually and a single. And uh, a fountain with uh, some fish in it and some flowers and a bunch of water, stuff like that. We've got... Um, of course, flowers, a whole bunch of flowers, big flower bed. Looks like a uh, flower pot, a bunch of trees and stuff back there. And yes, you can buy trees at a Home Depot. In fact, years ago, I bought many of them. Let's peek at the front real quick. So, of course, what do you see at all the Home Depots? They've always got tractors and mowers on display. So we had to include those. In fact, by the time this set's done, we might have some more in different varieties. Definitely some more of these. So, maybe some green ones representing a different brand. So, customer would walk in that door or that door or right in through the garden center. Get the little Home Depot cart, which I think we're going to end up doing a couple varieties of that. You know, one for Whoa, this section, because you can't fit big pieces like that on a cart like that. So we're going to kind of re uh, redesign the wheel, if you will, and uh, redesign what uh, our perception is of a Lego um, Home Depot <laughs> shopping cart for wood and things like that. Anyway, this is kind of a, a rough draft, if you will, of the uh, drywall section. We'll probably change that. We'll probably make it uh, so that they're more like, you know, what in real life would be a eight by four drywall sheet, something like that. But uh, nevertheless, it's kind of a start to the idea of our drywall section anyway. And then, you know, as I'm thinking, we're, we need to add a section that's got like rolls of tape and mud and stuff. Of course, uh, on the back, you've got a bathtub. Now, one of the other videos I did, the bathtub was sitting here, and it's just so massive, we decided to lay it down, or stand it up, so uh, that way it takes less floor space. On the back wall, just like the real Home Depot, you've got a whole plethora of tools. Of course, I think it might be on the front wall of Home Depot. Even a jackhammer up there. I think we might want to move that jackhammer down, put the sledgehammer up top. Got a bunch of piping, stuff like that. Big broom, big saw, some shovels. Over there you got your Dewalt. <laughs> That's not Dewalt, it's not yellow, but let's just say it's Dewalt. Good old Dewalt power driver. And right here, Let's just say we've got our stickering work ahead of us. So this is going to be all kinds of bare paint. You know, I told them to uh, do some kind of bucket where it looks like one of those five gallon buckets or something. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what that's supposed to be or not. But nevertheless, we're going to have things that look like five pound buckets. This represents the lumber section. So you got drywall here, lumber, and timber here. Timber! We might add some more lumber. Maybe kind of redesign that shelf a little bit. And then uh, looks like maybe paneling, little sections of uh, paneling, deck board, stuff like that in there. And um, some more paint. Now, all of this, everything you see is gonna have stickers. So, yeah, I know what you're thinking, and yeah, it's gonna be tedious. So, 
right offhand. I'm not sure what some of this is supposed to be, but um, that might be tiles on the bottom. Maybe tile glue up top, something like that. I'm assuming maybe that is like tile specs, perhaps. So I really haven't gone through this set thoroughly with the designer of it yet. Got some stuff in the corner. Once we do, he'll kind of give me his ideas and I'll probably change a few things. I definitely want to change this front wall. Put something there that uh, is more than just a ladder. <laughs> Maybe some shelves there, something like that. So, got some more tools over there in the corner. Got one single ladder and then actually I just now threw those in there just because I saw them laying around here. And, um, you know, we could spend hours and hours going through all the parts we've got and picking up stuff just to throw in here. And it's kind of what I did there. So, but then I got to thinking, you know, at the real Home Depot, they've got things for the carts like that. So we might uh, replace those and give them some kind of use, who knows? So, so here's a, a little back view. I'm assuming it's going to take forever to uh, do the stickering for this place. So now most of our sets, if you see shapes like that, it's boxes of, uh, of cereal. Not going to be the case this time. It's not going to be boxes of cereal. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Got a, a back wall of the timber, deck board, and lumber section. and drywall there and of course the uh, the checkout lane I like how they didn't do a conveyor they've got that a little different probably gonna figure out some kind of way to um, reshape some of this and get another checkout in there maybe have a contractor section something like that um, told them to put in a little kitchenette sample kitchen area which I do like that but it's big you know, you figure it takes up a pretty good amount of uh, space in the store. Uh, we might make that a little bit smaller and have a washer and dryer section in there too. And then um, get the uh, clock in there. That may or may not stay. What we do when we um, when we build stuff is we do what you see here. You know, kind of coming up with ideas, step by step, going through them all. And um, we make all of our decisions before the stickering process begins. That is very, very time consuming. So please, all of you, you know, we uh, admire, respect, and most of all, we listen to everything you say. So, got any suggestions? Feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think. Any ideas you think that would improve, uh, improve it? things that you would like to see in this set you know call it a team effort if you will 232 by 32 so um, we're a little limited on space obviously we're starting to get into sets where we're doing um, extra walls just to kind of give it some uh, I don't know just an extra cosmetic look to it the targets got that for example and then um, one thing personally I was thinking about is, in the garden center you see a lot of big shelving. They've got a lot of shelving in the garden center. And um, it's just, you know, big strong shelving. So, should we have some of that out here? You know, can we fit it out here? Would something like big shelving units be more important than trees, for example? That's another thing we'd like your opinion about. But uh, this is a beast, and we have been commissioned to uh, build one that's on a six by six. So six 32 by 32 plates, but we're not starting that for about another three weeks. So that's gonna be massive. We've got a Home Depot of that size, and we've got a, a Target, I believe, of that size. So got a couple big ones coming down the pike. And also comment below. Let us know what you think about the uh, the mowers. Is there any particular mower brand 
or color you'd like to see.